Good morning. Football star Jenny Amoso has lodged a criminal complaint over the unsolicited kiss by Football Federation boss Luis Rubiales after Spain's victory in the Women's World Cup. Amoso gave her testimony on Tuesday and the complaint will be processed as soon as possible, so the prosecutor said. With the complaint, Rubiales could face criminal charges in addition to the ongoing inquiry by Spain's top sport court for serious misconduct and an investigation by the World Soccer Governing Body FIFA, which has provisionally suspended Rubiales from office for 90 days. Neither Amoso's representatives nor Rubiales were immediately available for comment. Last month, the prosecutor for Spain's High Court said Rubiales could face a sexual assault charge which carries a prison term of between one and four years if Amoso, who lives and plays in Mexico, were to file a complaint. The High Court has jurisdiction over the case as the incident took place abroad in Sydney, Australia. Women's team coach Jorge Vilda, a close ally of Rubiales, was sacked on Tuesday. The RFEF later announced it had appointed Monsi Tome to succeed Vilda, making her the first woman to manage the side. Emergency services and the Guardia Seville resumed the search for the three missing people in the Madrid region and the province of Toledo yesterday morning. This follows the devastating consequences of last weekend's severe weather. However, expectations of finding the three alive are now low. A middle-aged man is being sought in Madrid, whose car was swept away by a river on Sunday night. He was travelling with his wife and two children who were found alive. Another missing person is an 83-year-old man who was swept away by the current in Via Manta near his home. In Toledo, it concerns a woman who has been missing since Sunday night. Advanced communication posts have been set up in the two hardest-hit towns to coordinate search efforts. In the meantime, the clean-up work also continues. And on Tuesday, the PP and the far-right Vox joined forces to form a coalition government in the Murthy region and promises drastic changes. The focus will be on improving the condition of the Mar Menor, which is under ecological pressure. The future of this ecologically sensitive salt lake is a hot topic in the region. The coalition government will consist of a maximum of 11 members. Vox will gain control of two important ministries, home affairs, security and emergency situations, as well as infrastructure. The party will also have a crucial role in monitoring transparency and protecting civil rights. This coalition agreement is seen as an historic milestone, not only for Murthia but also for the broader political landscape. That's the latest from TRE. I'm Bob James.